This is a case of a grade 2 nucleus sclerosis which was planned for a clear corneal phagomulsification with a new Acriva trifocal IOL. By now sideport entry is made and viscoelastic is used to form the anterior chamber. Now a bent cystitome needle is used to create a 5 mm capsular rexis which is the adequate sized rexis for a routine phaco emulsification. A 2.8 mm keratome is then used to create a biplanar entry into the anterior chamber. Hydrodissection is then done from one pole and you can see the fluid wave going towards the other pole as well. The nucleus is then tapped in the center to decompress the capsular bag. Phaco emulsification is then started and the loose cortical matter on the anterior surface of the nucleus is shaved off. Trenching can then be initiated. The thickness of the trenches should be one and a half times the thickness of the phaco probe. Once the red reflex can be appreciated, cracking can then be initiated. The nucleus is then rotated 180 degrees and the crack is completed on the opposite pole as well. Now we have two complete halves of the nucleus. In FACO2 mode, the probe is then buried into the core of the nucleus, lifted up and the chop is then initiated. High vacuum and low power is sufficient to emulsify these NS2 grade cataracts. The same thing is then repeated on the other half of the nucleus as well. As you can notice, a very good followability is achieved because of a tight wound construction. Bimanual irrigation and aspiration is then done and the cortical remnants are then stripped towards the center and then aspirated. Since the anterior chamber is well formed, the posterior capsule is pushed backwards. This makes removing the sub-incisional cortex easy without switching hands. This is the all new Acriva Trinova Trifocal IOL with 12 unique ridges which enables the highest light transmission of 92% which enables excellent visual outcomes in mesopic conditions with higher contrast sensitivity. Under irrigation, the Trifocal IOL is then injected into the capsular bag. The Trinova has a unique IOL optical surface that does not exhibit any sharp edges and the lens shape is derived from sinusoidal functions resulting in smoothly varying surface profiles which largely reduces the incidences of halos and scattered light. The trailing lens haptic is then tugged underneath the anterior capsular rim. As you can see, there is a very good overlap of the anterior capsular margin over the intraocular lens. This ensures a good centration and avoids tilt of the IOL, which is essential in these trifocal intraocular lenses. A final wash of the anterior chamber is then done. Here, the size of the central ring plays an important role as the wider central ring can tolerate a much larger angle kappa and therefore reducing the incidences of glare. The Acriva Trinova has a larger central ring diameter of 1.4 mm which is much more than the other trifocals and therefore has a larger tolerance to the angle kappa. The wounds are then hydrated 
and the anterior chamber is now well formed. The other eye was also operated in the following week and as you can see the patient attained an excellent visual prognosis post-op.